really surprised when we received some certified letters from the district attorney's office in San Jose asking that we cease and desist in what they called the criminal activity of milking a goat and giving the goat milk to the owners. We were being treated like some sort of criminal. When they told me to cease and desist, I could have. But there's 15 members of this cow share who wouldn't be able to get this milk, which is very, very special. This is not the best use of the federal government's time. Uh, I can imagine there's a lot more issues that, for them to deal with, and I know they're big fans of big farms. your faith in the CDFA and the FDA and the USDA that they're going to keep you safe or do you maybe put your faith in the farmer that you actually know you can come and visit you can see you can help what are you going to do regulate mother's milk next are you going to demand that mothers homogenize their pasteurize their milk before giving it to their child people should have the option you know that we have this kind of black box industrial food system where extracted resources come in and potato chips and soda and whatever comes out. And if you want to, you know, eat from that system, that's fine. But if you want to have a relationship with the food and be able to have access to the foods you want to be able to eat, you should have that right too. What's been happening for millennia is a relationship between humans and dairy animals that includes drinking their milk. That's what I would say to people who say raw milk is dangerous. The street says otherwise.